In this video, I will show something cool and a little technical. How to change the boot logo in Windows 10 or 11. You are going to learn how to customize the logo that appears when your computer starts up. Maybe you want to display your tech skills, or just want to display your branding. Let's dive in. Firstly, we need to check whether your PC uses UEFI or Legacy BIOS. To check that, press Windows key plus R. Type MS Info 32, then click OK. Look for BIOS mode. If it says UEFI, you are good to go, but if it says Legacy, then this method won't work for you. If you want me to show you how to do this on a computer running Legacy BIOS, let me know in the comments section. If your PC runs UEFI BIOS, you are good to go. Next, we will prepare the customized boot logo. I will use the Paint app on Windows to create a properly formatted boot logo. Open the Paint app. You will see a canvas. I will just reduce the size of the canvas. Alright? First, we need to get the right resolution for the image. To avoid any error, the logo size should match the native size of your screen resolution. For example, I have a full HD screen, so I will resize the canvas to 1920 by 1080. If your screen resolution is HD, you will want to resize the canvas to 1366 by 768. Go to the Image tab and then click on the Resize tool. Click on Pixels, then I will resize to 1920 width and the height is 1080. Click OK. Next, the boot screen should be black, so I will click on this Paint tool, select Color Black, then click on the canvas to paint. Next, we will bring in our boot logo. So, select File, import it to Canvas, then from a file. So, I already have a custom logo image right here. You can create one in Photoshop or whatever you want. I downloaded this one from Google. So, I will select it, then click Open. I will try to fit this in the center, and you can as well. Resize the image as you deem fit. When you are satisfied with what you've got, click on File again, then Save As. Choose BMP Pictures, because that is the format recognized by the BIOS. Name it Splash. This is very important. Then click Save. Now, when you go to Downloads, you should see the just created image. So, we have our custom boot logo ready. Now, to change the Windows boot logo, we will use a tool called HackBGRT. It is an open source tool designed for UEFI systems. You can search for that on Google, which will take you to their official GitHub page. I will leave a link to the page in the description below. Then download the latest version. After downloading, extract the file. That should also open the hack BGRT file. Locate the splash.bmp file. This is the default logo that comes with the hack BGRT folder. We will replace it with the new image we created. So, copy the slash BMP file we created earlier and paste it in the hack BGRT folder. This will replace the one that comes with the folder. Now let's install HackBGRT. Right-click the setup.exe file, then select Run as administrator. If it brings up this Microsoft Defender, don't worry, because HackBGRT is from a trusted developer, so I will run it anyway. It should bring up the installation prompt, which you will have to click on Allow. Then this will open the command prompt window. To install the tool, type I. This will install Hack BGRT and apply your custom boot logo. Press any key to quit the terminal. That's it. Now, this is very important. I'm currently at 700 subscribers and I really need to get to 1000 subscribers before the end of April. Please click the subscribe button. I will really, really appreciate it. Thanks. Now restart your computer to see the new boot logo in action.
If Secure Boot is enabled in your browser, your system may display a verification failed or security validation error in a blue screen. This is because Secure Boot is preventing this unsigned hack, BGRT Boot Loader, from running. Just select OK to enter the key management menu. Press Enter again. Now select Enroll Hack from Disk. By enrolling Hack GBRT for the disk, you are telling the bootloader that HackBert is trusted. This next page might be tricky because it's showing all the different disk partitioning, and you might not be able to tell which partition the Hack BGRT is located in. In my case, it's in this one called ESP. In your case, it might be in any other one. But most likely it's the first one. You might be seeing only one partition in your case, so that will be simple for you. If you are not taken to the next page that we want, which should show EFI, then you might click the power button to switch off, then start over while checking each partitioning. But it's most likely the first one. So I will just go with the first one and click Enter. Then select EFE. Select Hack BGRT, and then this one called GrubX64.EFI. Then choose Continue. And yes, then enter Reboot, and that will reboot your PC. Secure Boot should now allow HackBGRT to run, and your custom boot logo should now be displayed every time you start your computer. If you ever want to restore the default boot logo, it is quite easy. Just go to the HackBGRT folder, and then right-click the setup.exe file and run as administrator. This will open the Windows terminal, and then you can enter R. This will uninstall HackBGRT and restore the default boot logo. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments section.